Morning, guys. I'm sitting here this morning. I'm watching President Obama on television just lying through his teeth. And You know what really, really bothers me and what makes him so scary is that he's such a convincing liar. Don't get mad. He's a liar. You know he's a liar. Name me a, a politician that isn't. <laughs> it's not just him. But with him, it's second nature, and it seems that he prefers to lie rather than just really speak his mind. And that's scary, and he does it convincingly. If you remember and think about this, you may have seen it right after he was elected. He was being interviewed. I don't remember who the interviewer was. Might have been Barbara Wawa. I don't remember. But the interviewer said, Mr. President, I understand you have an iPhone and you just love it. And he said, oh, yeah. He said, I'm pretty ne I'm married to the thing. I just, I just love the thing. And the interviewer said, can I see it? Well, no, I don't have it on me. They took it away from me upstairs, said I couldn't bring it down here. And it starts ringing in his pocket. And he didn't say, oh, I forgot. He said, oops, busted. Now, what was the purpose of that? There was no purpose. It's just lies automatically spill out of his mouth. <laughs> Made no sense. And then, he, you know, he quit smoking. Uh, well, this morning, what he's saying is, they said, uh, they asked a question about the campaign. He said, oh, the campaign's further thing in my mind. I'm, I'm dealing with Hurricane Sandy and worried about the people. Apparently, you can't do two things at once. <laughs>